Hey, what's up? My name is Corey, and in today's video, this is the next installment of my cleverly titled series called Cooking with Corey. In this series, what I do is I ask people on Instagram hey, yo. for words or phrases, and I will take them and I will make them into a beat. The words I chose this time were uh, airsoft fatty choking on a bong. <laughs> Humming, mm -hmm. a scene from Step Brothers where the dad says, Jagaloons, your failures, failures. Uh, The next one was, uh, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. And then the last word is gabagoo. The gabagool. Let's get back to that gabagool. So, let me show you what I came up with. All right, so as you see here, we have bodies, gabagool, gabagool, um, airsoft fatty, choking on a bong, stepbrothers, humming. We're just going to go through like sound by sound and then I'm going to show you the effects on them. Uh, the first one here, bodies. So this was supposed to be like a open hi-hat. This was from this part of the song. So I just took out that little section here. Uh, the next part we have is just uh, from the Sopranos uh, in the Gabagool. The Gabagool. The Gabagool. Let's get back to that Gabagool. And then, um, this is from Airsoft Fatty Choking on a Bong. I made that into a snare. All right, so this is the original sample that I took this little like part out of and made into a snare. So let me just. And then I added on some RC20. We're getting there. Spaz, which is just like distortion and stuff. And then the drum shaper. Next part we have is Step Brothers. Um, here is the part that I used. It's, uh, this part, I use this as a kick. And what that actually is, is the dad walking up the stairs. Um, so that first, like, hit is, like, his footstep on the stairs. So that's what we have so far. We have Step Brothers Airsoft Fatty Gabagool Bodies now humming. So this is just a sample that I pulled off of Splice. Just a sample of someone uh, humming. Um, this is what it sounded like originally. Then I added reverb. I EQ'd it to make it sound a little more airy. Um, put some drip on it. I think it was like the lo-fi preset. And then some RC20 to make it sound kind of uh, crackly and stuff. I used another part of Bodies um, Drowning Pool for just some like background noise for some mel uh, for some like melody, I guess. Um, and it's just like the guitar part. Here's what the sample sounds like without any effects on it. I slowed it down, stretched it out, so it kind of sounds weird, but this is just like the guitar part. Then I put reverb on it, EQ'd it, put some drip on it, RC20, which is basically what I did for like a lot of them, but it sounds, it sounds cool. 
Now, this one here was Step Brothers again. I made, I decided to make um, another hi hat, like a more closed, um, concise hi hat. So, this was like the sample. <laughs> I just came up with like this simple pattern. And then I added some, uh, and then I EQ'd it, um, boosted the highs, cut the lows, and then added some reverb just to kind of have it separate a little bit from the track um, and give it more life. So this is what it sounds like with all the effects. And I think it sounds pretty close to a hi-hat, so that came out cool. And then there's one other sample I used from Airsoft Fatty. I uh, reversed it. <laughs> it's so scary, dude. Um, so, yeah, and it's just like him coughing. Um, but I put a bunch of effects on it, obviously. So it's almost going to kind of be like a, a riser or like percussion that leads you into like the next part. Um, and so then this is what we have all together. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. This is volume three of Cooking with Corey. Make sure you check out the other two episodes I have on here. Uh, leave a comment, like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it with your Uncle Joe. Share it with whoever you want to share it with. Sharing is caring. Um, if you want to be part of the next one, all you have to do is... Uh, respond to my story on Instagram when I ask for words and phrases, and then I'll pick five uh, to use in a video like this. Um, so with that being said, thank you to Rob Blake. Thank you to Emma. Thank you to Devin. Thank you to Merch King. And thank you to Jerry. Um, 